Hello, hello guys, Receptive Raptor here. Today I'm going to show you how to download and use a builder bot for Minecraft Creative or Multiplayer. Okay, first you're going to want to open up your browser and just simply type builder bot. And then you're going to want to hit the first link which would say builder bot Minecraft forums. You can not this because you're getting help from me right now. <laughs> Um, wait, when it loads, just let it load, sit back, relax, which was quick actually. You're going to want to click inside bot in exe form. You are going to need that, um, inside bot r21, and then you want to click it again. Let your let it open. I'm using a download manager so I'll just open a folder. Um, go OK. Let yours download. I've already downloaded mine so I'll just pretend that I just downloaded it. Go find, a f you'll have a folder called release r21. You want to extract to release r21 or whatever to the desktop maybe. Go into it and get this folder. Copy it and put it on your desktop. Um, you can name it whatever you want, but just for this video, I'm going to name it Builderbot. My bot, I actually put it, I actually put my bot inside here. Um, what you're going to want to do is create an, before you even start touching this folder, you want to go to Minecraft.net, and you want to register an account for your bot. So you're just going to click register, and you're going to make a new username. So like say, ah, Ollie is cool. Just that's just a random name. Give it some random password, another password, your email, or say something, whatever it is at hotmail.com. Previous capture. Okay, sorry about that. Um, then just register an account, activate it, and everything you have to do, whatever it is. Then you want to create a new text document. Users. This is where your name will go. Just type it in, plainly as it is. Mine is receptive raptor for this video. Then create a new text document called info. Oh, this is the interesting one. You get uh, more lag. Sorry about this. Go into info. Type your bot's name. Mine is actually called Raptors Bot. Put a dash there. Type your bot's password, which yes will be blanked out in this video. And then you type the hash of the server. Which to get that, you will go into the client, or if you don't have a client, the URL of the client, the URL of the server you are in. Which just let just let this open up. Go, let it get the server list. Do oh, then you want to say, for example, in this video, because this it didn't work last time. You want to grab this part, which see on this server, it's no matter which server it is, it's always after the equal sign. So press Control C, Control V. There, that is your bot done. Now the reason I got you to do that first, instead of just it's it's a lot easier than typing it in command prompt and missing, because now it'll load. Just um wait for this, please wait loading. Started to connect, connecting. This is actually loading it in percent. 20% done. 29, 31, 34, 37, 42, 57, 65, 60, 73, 80, 90, 100. If that is in the server, it is just connected. Um, I'm going to disconnect that. Um, I actually don't think there's anything else you really need to do. Uh, no, I haven't missed anything. Um, 
or with the info this each time you go to a different server if you want to take your bot this will have to be changed each and every time so there's a short there's a short there's a shortcut around that just go new folder call it something like servers and say for each server say for the server one you actually want, might want to name this server one will be this here and then each time you just want to go into server just drag it in here or copy paste it hmm okay now I'll show you how to use it now oh um one one sorry one thing you want to do is you want to drag config.py and damn it drop this in notepad this is the important one you want to make sure that is point one it will be by default command prefix this will be how you will talk to, talk to it mine will be r you might want to give yours the name of your name or say say if your name was ollie you might want to do it o but for this video i'll be doing it r hit command s to save it leave it alone open it go to the exact same server as the bot I hope it works this time because in the last video it just like, didn't cooperate in fact I'll just skip to it work okay guys I got into the server um, I'm not, not sure if I'm back right yet um, yep I am I got into the server um, there is my bot now um yeah my computer sucks I keep saying that um the features of the bot um well not really features if you are my bot is a builder rank right now so yeah the features of the bot so this is how you would talk to it you would say if you wanted to say something you would say ah say and then your message yeah yeah it's cooperating um if you wanted it to this is the main feature is copying so I'll just like create in fact I'll even use a better example I'll go find a random building damn it um, this tr I'll get this tree actually um no I'll do something a lot more simple sorry about this um what the hell is this I hope he's not griefing um you do r copy and then name it say lol for for example see how it says paste two shrooms to copy for cuboid you just place a mushroom there on the center of it and then you would come across here and uh, damn it use any means to get a mushroom up as high as you can I'm sorry for the lagginess and crappiness of my computer. I'm actually running it as fast as possible right now. But at least it's good enough to teach you guys. Um, he's not griefing. Cool. Oh, well, he technically is, but yeah. And then it'll say copied volume to file lol. You can just go ahead and erase your mushrooms. And you will say R uh, paste lol. Place one brown mushroom. See it play it it'll paste it line by line. It'll rebuild it. It this might vary between build sizes. And um yeah. Uh, um, if you want it to stop, you know, because of uh, you made a mistake or you're griefing, so it's going to another building. You'd say R abort and then dash undo, whatever. I'll do 300 for the sake of it. Um, yeah, that's all I gotta really show you here. I'll just go ahead and close for things, and you see um here lol dot chunk. So you can actually take this file between servers with your bot and actually paste it on different servers. So um, you could actually 
client if you if you had a server where you were like doing like a memorabilia kind of thing or like a memorial kind of thing you could go to another server get a piece of someone's bit of work and bring it on the server but please use it responsibly don't use it to steal other people's stuff um that's pretty much the video um I'm gonna go ahead and do get rid of this and I'll well I gotta think of something to do for the next video leave a leave a comment I want to do in the next video oh 10 minutes leave a comment I want to do in the next video subscribe I'm so happy it's a 15 minute limit on YouTube now bye bye, bye guys